All right, hello guys. Today, making another video. This time, Chronicle RuneScape Legends. We're taking a look about something that I think is a problem with this game. And I play a lot of card games, guys. I, I am a card game enthusiast. My favorite being Magic the Gathering. But I am known to play Hearthstone, this Pokemon TCG, uh, the Duelists, and um, yeah, just... There's, there's some other ones, there's some other small ones, but I mean, we're looking at those ones as the main ones now. It is no secret that in card games, generally, almost always, it is considered an advantage to go first or to be on the play, as it were. And this is double, doubly so in Chronicle RuneScape Legends. I, my win rate going first is pretty good my win rate going second is abysmal like it, it's like 15 percent guys my win rate going first you know like i saw like 65 percent so you know like not like outrageous but it's okay and i think this comes down to the nature of the game i think this there has to be something to address this and it causes also a lot of it is the source of a lot of frustration for me now, of course, I'm used to, you know, the turn base, and of course, going second typically comes with an advantage, you know, in Hearthstone, you get an extra card to mulligan with, and you also get the coin, uh, second player in Magic gets to draw on their first turn, Julius, again, you get an extra card, and obviously you start closer to the, um, the mana thing, and, you know, just generally in, in card games, you know, second player has an advantage in some way to make up for the fact that they're of course going second. Now in this game, you do get an advantage. You do get one extra card in your starting hand, which of course you can mulligan like in very similarly, similarly to Hearthstone. So it makes your starting hand slightly better. Now, or, mar or a lot better in yeah, some cases, but the big problem with, uh, with, with how the system is, is that the extra card isn't really a big deal especially because you were drawing three cards at the start of everything but it's not even so much that it's just the way that the game functions that makes going first so much better I don't have any definitive solutions for this and I mean I, I I don't really know how you would switch this or fix this but I've had one too many cases where it's like okay I'm going to heal on this card but my opponent on their card kills me because they're going first where in the case where if I was going first I would have lived potentially won the game now of course like I said before in other card games this is mostly always gonna be a problem right but in this it just it's all the time so many times have I lost simply because my opponent's card opponent's card effect happened right before mine and it just those are the cases where it happens it happens so many times that eventually I just close the game. I'm like I don't want, I don't want to play anymore. It's really becoming that much of a problem. Uh, among with other things, that one other very specific thing that I think is a huge problem with this game is there are cards that have extremely specific effects, but those effects completely destroy certain strategies and will cause if your opponent is playing that strategy, it will cause them to flat out lose. For instance, cards that there are cards that will remove all of your opponent's armor or deal damage to them equal to like to their health equal to like half their armor. Now, I play a strategy that doesn't necessarily use a lot of armor. I use it. I spend my armor to do things, and um, but I do end up having you know normally I have over twenty armor. Um, if I'm just stacking and I haven't been able to uh, spend it all in the way I want or if I haven't needed to. And there, I've run into cards where it's just like you lose all your armor and then I, I'm at the, at the very, they play at the very end and it's like, why is that card a thing? Why does that just destroy my strategy? And there are cards where it's like, just destroy the enemy weapon. And you know, there are strategies where you build up one really big weapon, but then they play that and you're just, you're just finished. And there, there are so many cards like this, like so they just destroy strategies that I think it makes it 
very frustrating because it's like it, if someone has that card on their deck, it's useless against so many strategies. But then against the one strategy that it's good against, it just that one card will win you the game. Like no matter what has happened previously, that one card wins the game. And that actually does happen in this video over here at the end. This guy plays a card where it's like if you have more armor than your opponent, remove all your opponent's armor. And it stopped me from using my next card, which I needed to spend armor for. And then he just like one shot. And I had a lot of armor. I had like 22. He just had more than me. So it was really like this is one of the games where I just want to just close out because it's just so frustrating. And like, why is that card like that card just ruin specifically my strategy and like my time and it just if i mean i don't know if that can be looked at as a problem or not i mean obviously there needs to be cards to counter certain strategies but it's that these strategies like lots of strategies and the big strategies have just such hard counters it's just it's not fun to play against it's not and the thing is it's not even fun to have them in your deck you have them in your deck you don't go against that strategy the card is like literally just a dead card if you play that card against someone who doesn't have armor which a lot of the classes won't gain any armor or they'll just gain very very little it's a useless card and then it's it's not fun and it's just, I don't know I hate that um so I, I, it's bigger than obviously like I said there need to be cards that counter like if you think in Hearthstone we use Hearthstone as an example because it's a very simple uh, concept if secrets are very mm. oppressive there are flare and there's that other card, there's some random card that like, eats secrets. And you know, those cards are counters to that, but if you play a flare on two traps, it's not like blowout, you win the game. That GG, obviously it's very good, and maybe, maybe it does win the game in some cases, but that card didn't just single-handedly destroy your opponent. Do. In this case, his card does like... 30 damage to me or like 25 damage to me it's just it's just insane anyway so that's that's pretty much it for me on this i just I really want to make more videos about card games i really like talking about them and talking in depth about them this one's a fairly new one uh so there's definitely balancing to be done i think i'm hoping that they will bother to balance it um or not i don't mean bother to balance obviously they will but i hope they're more like not like hearthstone where they actually go in and change cards like frequently more like Dulius does it because I think Dulius became a much better game after they changed um, a lot of the cards and just reworked them anyway I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you guys, uh, if you guys have any opinions on this matter yourself I would love to uh, hear your thoughts in the comments uh, maybe you guys love the fact that there are cards that are absolute hard counter to certain strategies I don't know uh, it's just my opinion my opinion they're very on fun to play against losing to them is just feels bad man and of course the going first problem I think going first is just way too good in this like your card effect happening before your opponents in so many cases is such a big deal it can cause your opponent to miss certain cards like if you remove gold from them like the turn before they buy something remove armor from them here's that card I was talking about remove all rivals, rivals armor and deal 6 damage it's brutal that's 15 and well actually it does 21 it's just ridiculous right um and i can't activate my card there so yeah and uh that's it guys i'm gonna be making some pokemon and some other stuff too stay tuned